Welcome to episode 1234 of Things We Didn't Learn at School. And today we'll be talking about something I wish someone had opened my eyes to when I was a lot younger. It's a concept that can multiply your wealth or single-handedly destroy it. It's called compound interest. Yes, it's a finance term, and yes, it sounds super boring, but because of how powerful this concept is, it's something everyone needs to learn, and the earlier, the better. In this video, I'm going to explain what compound interest is in a super easy and visual way for beginners, the way I wish it was taught to me. And by the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of what it is and how to make it work for you, not against you, so you can retire rich. To understand compound interest, first you have to be acquainted with its talented but less powerful brother, simple interest. Simple interest is when you only earn interest on the original amount of money that you started with, without considering any interest you may have already earned. Compound interest, on the other hand, is when you not only earn interest on the original amount of money that you started with, but also on the interest you have already earned. Another way to think about it would be to compare simple and compound interest to the Hemsworth brothers. Hear me out. Simple would be Luke, and compound would be Chris. Simple interest is cute and super talented, but not as powerful as compound interest, if you know what I mean. To visualize the difference, let's walk through an example. Meet Jason and Sabrina. They're both 20 years old and eager to start investing with $1,000. Assume Jason's investment consistently returns a remarkable 10% per year. After just one year, Jason's portfolio impressively grows to $1,100. $100 in interest alongside his initial investment of $1,000. Jason decides to withdraw his interest while maintaining his $1,000 investment, and he repeats this strategy over the next few years. In the following year, Jason's investment returns him another $100 in interest, bringing his total to $1,200. Staying true to his plan, he withdraws the interest once again. This pattern continues, resulting in another $100 in interest after three years, growing his portfolio value to $1,300. Since Jason withdraws his interest each year, he earns 10% simple interest on his initial investment of $1,000. Now let's shift our focus to Sabrina. Like Jason, she invests $1,000 and also enjoys a 10% annual return. However, Sabrina takes a different approach. Instead of withdrawing the interest, she keeps her money invested. After one year, she earns the same $100 in interest as Jason. But here's where the magic of compound interest starts to kick in. In the second year, Sabrina doesn't just earn $100, she earns $110. This is because the 10% interest is calculated based on the $1,100 she accumulated after the first year. So after two years, Sabrina has $1,210. This trend continues. After the third year, she earns interest on $1,210. So after three years, Sabrina's portfolio value reaches a total of $1,331. After three years, Compound interest has earned Sabrina $31 more than Jason. I know, I know, I know. I know you're probably thinking, so what Maya, that's not a big deal. Why have you wasted my time for $31? Stay with me. The thing is, with compound interest, over the long term is where you really see the difference. And I mean big difference. Let me show, not tell. Here is a chart I prepared earlier, which shows the growth of Jason and Sabrina's investments. The red line represents Jason, and the green line represents Sabrina. The chart clearly shows how compound interest works wonders for Sabrina over time. Her investments grow exponentially as the interest keeps piling up. The more interest she earns, the faster her investment grows. For example, while it takes approximately 9 years for her initial $1,000 investment to surpass the $2,000 mark, it takes only 4 years to grow from $2,000 to $3,000, and 3 years to grow from $3,000 to $4,000. The momentum keeps building and her wealth accumulates faster and faster. Jason, on the other hand, doesn't experience the same snowball effect. His money grows linearly, meaning it takes the same amount of time to go from $1,000 to $2,000 as it does to go from $2,000 to $3,000, and so on. As a result, 
Over a span of 45 years, Jason's portfolio grows to $5,500. That's cute, but hold your breath because Sabrina's portfolio blows him out of the water. She amasses a grand total of $72,890. And let me remind you, that's just on her initial investment of $1,000. Thank you, Thor. I mean, compound interest. Now, while $72,890 is a lot of money, it's obviously not gonna be enough to retire on. But keep watching, because in just a little bit, I'm going to show you how you can leverage compound interest to smash your goals and retire wealthy. Speaking of smashing, if you're liking this video, smash the like button and subscribe for more videos like this. So how can compound interest work against you when it comes to saving and investing? Compound interest is your best friend. It's a powerful way to make your money work for you while you sleep, eat, watch YouTube videos, and whatever else it is that you do. It's often referred to as the magical interest, and I'm sure now you can see why. Now here's the flip side. When it comes to debts, compound interest can truly become your worst enemy. It has the power to make your debt snowball exponentially, leaving you in a seriously tough financial situation. It's worth noting that most high interest debt accrues interest at rates that are astronomically higher than what you can earn through investments, meaning compound interest can deteriorate your wealth faster than it can help you build it. Let's say Sabrina has $1,000 in credit card debt, costing her 20% APY. Ignoring fees and minimum payments, assuming Sabrina carries this debt, after 45 years, this would grow to, wait for it, $3.6 million. Ouch. That's why it's so, so, so important to understand compound interest so you can make it work for you, not against you. In fact, compound interest is so powerful that even the great Albert Einstein dubbed it as the eighth wonder of the world, saying he who understands it earns it and he who doesn't pays for it. Now that we understand compound interest, let me ask you a question. Would you rather have $1 million today or a penny doubled every day for a month? $1 million outright is an insane amount of money. But let's look at what would happen if your penny doubled every day for a month. Day one, you would have one penny. Day two, you would have two pennies. Day three, you would have four pennies. Day four, you would have eight pennies. Day five, you would have 16 pennies. This may look like you'll end up with peanuts, but believe it or not, if you kept doing this, by day 30, you would have almost $5.4 million. Don't believe me? Pause the video, get a calculator, and see for yourself. If we put this into a graph, it once again demonstrates the incredible power of compounding. As you can see, growth starts off slow and then gets faster and faster until it starts growing rapidly, surpassing $1 million on day 28 and reaching over $5 million by the end of day 30. So by choosing a penny doubled every day, you would end up with significantly more than $1 million. So the question is, how can you use the magic of compounding to secure your future and retire wealthy? When it comes to compound interest, the amount of money you accumulate depends on three factors, the rate of return, the amount invested, and time. When it comes to rate of return, it's obviously not realistic to find an investment that will pay you 100% return and allow your money to double every day like in the example we just walked through. But in principle, your money will grow faster with a higher rate of return. But remember, higher returns usually also mean higher risk. And ideally, we want to minimize risk while maximizing return. So we're left with two options. Increase the amount you invest or extend the investment period. While both can influence the final outcome, it's important to recognize that time holds the greatest potential for creating substantial wealth. You see, if the investment doesn't have sufficient time to compound, even a substantial initial investment may not generate significant returns. But the earlier you start investing, the more time you give your money to grow thanks to the magic of compound interest. In fact, generation after generation, one of the greatest financial regrets we all share is not getting started with investing earlier in life. Delaying investing even a few years can significantly impact the size of your nest egg. Once again, let me show, not tell. First, let's go back to our savvy investor, Sabrina. 
Sabrina paid off her credit card debt, and instead of a one-time investment of $1,000, she decides to diligently invest $250 a month starting at age 20, earning an 8% return. Nathan, on the other hand, didn't begin investing until he turned 30. Nathan decides to invest $321 a month, also earning an 8% return. And lastly, we have Sam, who didn't have the opportunity to invest until he turned 40. Sam decides to invest $450 a month, also earning an 8% return. Let's look at what their portfolio value would look like when they each turn 65. Sabrina manages to accumulate an impressive $1.3 million. Nathan's balance grows to 700K, while Sam's balance grows to 400K. Despite all three investors investing $135,000 of their own money and earning the same 8% annual return, the total value of their investments at age 65 varies significantly. This example illustrates that when it comes to compound interest, time is the most valuable variable that investors have to work with. The earlier you start investing, the more time you give your money to grow thanks to the magic of compound interest, and the less you'll have to invest out of your own pocket. If you've ever wondered how some people manage to amass substantial wealth without seemingly breaking a sweat, now you know why. Compound interest has been a little known secret that the rich have used to pass down through generations. It's a powerful and life-changing tool, yet so many people aren't even aware of it. If you're part of the majority that didn't get this information passed down to you, now that you have this information, put it into action. Be the change maker for yourself and for your future generations. If you're in your 20s like Sabrina, Start investing consistently with whatever you can afford and make the most of your head start. And if you've already entered your 30s or 40s, know that the best time to start investing was yesterday, but the next best time is today. It's never too late to get started and your future you and future generations will thank you for it. If investing feels like a scary space to step into, I've linked a video here that I think you might like. So where should you invest? The simplest starting point is to contribute to a tax advantage retirement account like your employer sponsored 401k plan or other retirement savings accounts like a Roth IRA or a traditional IRA in the US. These accounts are of course called different things in different countries. In terms of what to invest in, many experts including Warren Buffett recommend investing in low cost index funds or exchange traded funds which allow you to own a small portion of many different companies. For example, an S&P 500 index fund or ETF allows you to own a small portion of 500 of the largest companies in the US which is treated as the benchmark of the stock market. These funds are passively managed, meaning there's no human involvement in choosing which investments to make. In addition to diversification benefits, index funds and ETFs are generally low cost investments. Fees are generally below 0.2%, allowing you to keep more of your earnings. On the other hand, investing in actively managed funds involves active selection of investments by a fund manager whose goal is to beat the market. Actively managed funds come with hefty management fees that can be as high as up to 1-2% to per year. This might not sound like a lot at first, but remember, as your investments compound, so too will the amount you pay in management fees. 1% of $1,000 is a $10 annual fee, but 1% of $1 million is an annual fee of $10,000. If an actively managed fund can beat the market, the higher fee might be justifiable. But in reality, numerous studies have shown that on average, passive investors tend to outperform active investors over the long term. The most important step is to open at least one account and start contributing to it consistently to take full advantage of compound interest. Keep it simple by investing in low cost index funds or ETFs to diversify your investments and keep more of your money. I wish I had learned about compound interest sooner and I want to share this information with as many people as possible. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe and hit the like button so that YouTube will share it with other people. And please share this video with a friend who could benefit from this information. As always, feel free to share any thoughts, questions and feedback you have in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye for now.